How's it going guys? This is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal and it's time we take a look at what's in these foot lockers. We've been staring at them for so long and uh, let's just get into them and see what kind of treasures are in there. Of course I have a few figures out behind here. I got a couple new Predator guys but I'm talking about these vintage G.I. Joes right there. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for. Uh, this is a metal footlocker. I'm not sure if this was an actual G.I. Joe footlocker or if it was a, a copy or whatnot. But they came back. Uh, these came out. I'm not sure when these came out. But someone has decorated with some movie stickers. So I have no idea what's in here. It does have a tray. The tray looks a little banged up. Oh, there is an original old G.I. Joe in here. Wow, looks like an old original for sure. Missing some parts. Going to need to be, uh, we can probably fix that. More than likely, we can fix that. Let's take a look at here. Some plastic stuff. I'm not sure if that's G.I. Joe or not. Looks like we got some 90s stuff in here with a lot of miscellaneous boots. Looks like a kind of a couple flippers here and there. I don't know if this is from an adventure team set or or what. I don't I can't remember. Don't know. I know this may be from an adventure team set of some kind. We'll have to uh study that. Oh here's a head. That looks like one of the uh older Pacific. Uh looks like there's a just a bunch of miscellaneous, nothing, nothing good that I see in here. You know, some old style shoes, but there's some. These look like they're not in very good. Here's a whole sailor hat, but okay, that one's not very, very good. Here's a couple of poles. I don't know if those are ski poles or what those are. Uh, this looks like part of the old metal guns that they made back in the uh, early 2000s. Some parts to that. There's nothing in here. Kind of a bust. I don't know what that goes to. Just some miscellaneous parts. Looks like a grenade launcher add-on. Okay, let's move on. Nothing in that one except this. Pretty cool. Uh. Nice G.I. Joe head with a body. I think we'll just put him right back in there for now. Let's keep moving on. Hopefully there is something cool in here. One down. Nice metal box. A little dented up here and there, but seems to be pretty cool. Let's put this back. stack and let's go for number two this looks like it was decorated with some stickers and stuff too let's have an original gi joe thing and i'm not sure if this is an original box probably oh here it is more like it looks like we got some gi joe stuff here oh some good nice weapons Bag of weapons, looks like a 64 belt. Some, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. I'm doing this all one handed. Excuse me a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to block the picture there. Uh, that looks like a grunt helmet from one of the newer figures from 92 to 94. I'm just go ahead and dump this out. See what we got. Mm, just a belt. Okay. Now this looks good. It still has the uh, buckles on it. That is an original GI Joe. 64 belt. The green plastic belt. Looks in really good shape. That's pretty cool. Uh, some kind of newer shotgun. That's not 64. This is a cool looking shotgun though. That is GI Joe. I believe that goes with. Cowboy. 
the sheriff, the marshal. This is a plastic M16. There's another webbed helmet. That's G.I. Joe, but that's later from around 2000 or so. That is too. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, I know what that's from. That's from, uh, I believe, 1966. That's from Stony Smith. Stony Smith. That's pretty cool. Um, those actually work really well for G.I. Joe. Some of them. I'm going to keep this uh, video under a uh, half hour again. But there's a thermos. This is a German. Looks like a German uh, NCO from 21. This is looks also like a... Uh, I don't know if it's G.I. Joe or not, but it's plastic. It could be Palatoy. There was a paint application on it, but that looks, the that M1 carbine, it looks pretty cool. Uh, we got a stocking hat, a couple German grenades. Uh, there's, I'm not sure if that's G.I. Joe or not. You can see in there. Looks too small. Looks kind of small. Oh, there's a uh, 21st Century Toys uh, German dagger. It's another little belt. We got another little thermos here. Now we got some sandbags. I believe these are newer ones. Oh, we got some uh, some stickers. Adventure Team stickers. I'm sure we could use those. Those are uh, repop stickers obviously got a whole bunch of oh we got some original booklets here eight ropes of danger that's pretty sweet nice book um these look like newer army man the manuals that's uh repops that is some original uh that's the original instructions to the eight ropes of danger um, we got a foot locker. Oh, these are all originals. These are all original. Oh, this poster is amazing. I love these posters from back in the day. That is sweet. A bunch of them. Shows everything you could you could get for G.I. Joe at the time in 64. There's the official foot locker. All this literature here looks to be real. The originals looks like so that's cool got all the original literature oh we even got some from the uh, the soldiers of the world um, the that looks like that's an original 64 that is too and these are some repops here you can always tell the repops because they'll say printed in China 2003 Um, a lot of a lot of manuals. That's very cool. What do we got here? Oh, we got some stickers here. Those look to be this could be originals. Oh, there's a dog tag in there. There's some busted air vests, which was common for them straps breaking with kids taking them on and off. Um, these are just filled with paper, but we got a bunch of little sandbags. Oh, we have a yellow rubber raft. I don't know if that's the G.I. Joe. No. It says U.S. Navy. This might be for uh, uh, the the 3.75 3 figures, the 4-inch figures. We got some stickers down there, but that's it for that one. Well, that's pretty cool. We found some original literature and a bag full of weapons, some some vintage weapons uh, from Stony Smith, as well as some G.I. Joe stuff. But a few newer things thrown in. So it wasn't really organized. But uh, do have some original literature, which is very cool, from 1964. Um, let's move on. I'm just going to pile it up over here set this aside over here and let's move on to the next one this is a plastic one i believe these came out during uh the adventure team uh 
boxes later on in 1970s. Uh, if I can get this open one-handed, would be nice. Ugh. I have no idea what's in these, so maybe we'll find something cool. Oh, here we go. Now, these look to be mostly newer. Well, there is some older stuff in here. This will say, usually if it's 40th anniversary, it'll say 40th anniversary on there. Which doesn't, this is in really good shape. It's like brand new. That's really nice. There's a flare gun. Uh, some of the lead boots for the Eight Ropes of Danger. Here's an original. Uh, good shape. Not if there's anything in it. And a couple bandages in there for the uh, medic medic box. I'm not sure if that's G.I. Joe. It could be Palatoy even. Um, very cool. <laughs> Looks like a, that's a metal psi. Um, here's a, a, some sort of a uh, detonator box. Detonator box. I'm not sure if that's G.I. Joe or what. Never seen one like that before could be here's some kind of a medical box of some sort what's in it oh, oh it does have some uh, there's the purification kit from adventure team and it's got some other uh, medical things in there but purification kit that's from adventure team that's an original uh, these are originals here these splints from GI Joe uh, those came with the uh, crutches and things like that uh, this I can tell is 40th anniversary it just doesn't have the old feel to it or the look there's another med box missing the uh, latches on top it does have the bandages in there and really nice and folded always cool to have those finding some interesting things in here here's a uh, spotlight Looks like Adventure Team era. Another flare gun. Not sure if that's 40th anniversary or what it could say on it. If I could get it to focus. It's hard to do one-handed. Can't really tell. It does have some writing on it, but... I don't know. I don't know about that one. That'll have to be looked into. Here's some newer binoculars. And there's some of the, the grenades. There's some good grenades. G.I. Joe grenades there. This looks like some kind of a cooking pot or something. Ooh, this is from... That is the knife from uh, Best of the West. Uh, Johnny West. Ooh, here's a B.A.R. That's G.I. Joe. I don't know where that's from. Here's a broken... M1 from 64. Here's a newer style, looks like. Could be M1. Here's a broken Adventure Team. And the other stuff looks to be too small. Could be Palatoy, possibly. So, pretty interesting. And that's just the top tray. Let's see if there's anything under it. cool if I had two of those. I could make snake eyes. Make my 12 inch snake eyes guy have a couple of size. Oh, a whole bunch of uniforms. Awesome. Look at this. wonder if these are originals. Looks like it. Sure is. That's a secret spy uniform right there. Let's see if the tag says if there's anything left of the tag. That looks like the original for sure. Oh, there's something drawn on the mag. Oh, it's got stained up. I don't know if that could be cleaned. What's this here? Yes, that's an original uniform there. Hong Kong. Those are, those look to be, not sure on those. Oh yes, these are all. That's Hasbro Hong Kong. This is 
Oh, Hasbro Hong Kong too. Japan. So that'd be what 67, 68. Um, what's this? Not sure about this one. It's hard for me to do it one handed. I'm sorry about that. I just I hate using my stand because I can never get the stuff to focus right. I can't look at the tag. I just can't do it. Here's looks like the old aviator's vest. Uh, this could be original tag if I can get it flipped down. These tags are terrible. That's all they're good for. Yes, it is. That's an original blue overalls. G.I. Joe. Here's some sailor pants. Those are definitely original. I remember those. That goes with the Navy dress uniform. There's some more Navy dungarees. Ooh, a stained up shirt. But that's definitely Navy. Uh, here we go. Very nice uniform. Hasbro Japan. These are Adventure Team for sure. Fatigues. Uh, I'm not sure. Those could be Palatoy. There's some more uh, other uniforms. Oh, we got a radio. A radio. Wow, looks in good shape. Is it original? Looks like it. Looks very good. Wow, excellent radio. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice. That's the big field radio. Ooh, there's uh, the marine dress. What's left of it. There's the marine dress hat. Oh, here's a poncho. Looks like it's uh, starting to dry up a little. Uh, here's a, looks like pilot's helmet. Here's some later uh, desert pants. Oh, here's an original 64 crutch right there. That is cool. There's the skis for the ski guy. Those are the original G.I. Joe skis right there. Sure enough. Absolutely. Looks like they've been modified a little bit to make them work. Oh, holy mackerel. Didn't see this. This is cut off shirt. This is, uh, that's another parachute. Nice. That is the G.I. Joe parachute. It looks to be in great condition. It's all there. Ooh, a cool looking suitcase. I know that's not G.I. Joe, but that is cool looking. Ooh, fantastic free fall. There's the book. So there is the backpack too. And the parachute. Parachute. Oh, it's all there. It's all there. Very nice. Nice pack. Fantastic free fall. Wow, that was a nice box. Holy mackerel, we got a whole lot of uniforms in here. Um, and the original parachute with the pack. Very cool. Let me just stick these back in here and we'll move to the next one and see what we can find. Wow, look at that poncho. I'm afraid to open it. Hopefully it's still in good shape. It looks to be in good shape, but it's starting to dry a little bit, you can tell. But still, still in very good good condition. Really nice field radio. Beautiful. I'm going to leave that out. Um, some original uniform. That is a really nice uniform. Is that original? Sure is. Japan. Very nice. Probably around 67. Missing a button. Buttons on the front. But we could probably remedy that. I do have some buttons laying around. Um, let's see if I can get my mom to sew a few for these for me. <laughs> Just kidding. I can sew them myself. The original sailor pants again. There's a field jacket, some camels. Those are probably the uh, adventure team ones, more than likely, or marine ones. Could be marines. That's Japan. That's probably marines. 
there's the uh, looks like the secret agent trench coat there's some more regular fatigue pants and fatigue blouse very cool very cool wow that was surprise quite the surprise there all right probably got time to go through maybe one more oops i forgot to put the box back in here put this back in i don't know if it's gonna fit now we found all kinds of cool stuff in that one that was uh quite a bit pretty cool happy with that we plus we got a nice crutch and uh this or, original original skis sounds like my mom's excited she's watching a baseball game <laughs> oh my goodness look at that original with the original Foot Locker with the uh, decal still intact we've got a real medical helmet oh it's oh it's in great shape sweet look at that in very good shape just missing the um, it's not broken on the inside I love that that is awesome We've got the original med, uh, the blood, blood thing, a snorkel. <laughs> There's G.I. Joe hat. I wonder which version it is. It says one on it. There's the maps, map holder. Oh, a beautiful M1 rifle. Look at that. With That is excellent condition. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's how I like it like to find them right there there's the, uh, the originally old plastic binoculars looks like we got a beretta inside that there's the billy club for the uh, mp very cool we're finding everything piece bit by bit there's a ammo pouch a couple more grenades this looks like a sure is 67 stony smith Oh, another, another, uh, another wire, wire roller deal. That looks to be original. That is broken on one side, but still, that is, that's the original 64 one there. Looks like we got a good mess kit. Looks like he's been tied up. It's probably in really good shape. It's got a bandage so it wouldn't come open probably. There's some goggles. I don't know if those are... And yeah, they could be. Not sure. We got some grenades. Canteen. Very nice. Oh, we got a little tool, a little screwdriver here. I like little stuff like that. Okay. Let's see what's under it. Oh my god. This is exciting. Let's see what's under here. Oh, more clothes. And a oh a marine helmet. Still good. Still got the uh nice nice helmet oh you got the air force uniform or no that's a marine marine dress uniform right there two of them very nice condition uh, another uh, could be yeah it looks like it's missing the snaps but that's part of a uniform there's the marines uniform this is china so that's later that's a newer one there's another uh, a really nice uniform. Uh, these are newer. There's the field jacket. That's a flak jacket or field jacket. There's uh, some more pants. A lot of boots. Wow. I wonder if there's... Wow. We do got some original stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a very nice uniform there. That's original uniform there from 70s Adventure Team. This is all Hong Kong. Beautiful Navy shirt. Oh, there's the Air Force dress. That's that's original. I can tell already. I'll bet you it says Hong Kong right on it. Sure does. Right there. Look at that. The pants, too. Uh, we got a uh, cold weather hat. Air Force 
that's a newer one. That is a 40th anniversary, looks like. A uh, bunch of half boots. Wow, this is a great one. Another beautiful navy shirt. Nice Hong Kong original. Another some kind of t-shirt. Another one. There's a little bit of staining on some of this. Check this shirt out. Wow, that's wild. It looks like it could be some... I don't know if that would fit. Yeah, looks like it. Some parents used to make um, clothes for their son's G.I. Joe's too, so... There's the G.I. Joe pants. Those are newer. There's some more tan pants. Oh, another really nice Hong Kong uniform with two buttons. I'll have to look that one up. The pants are in it. So that's a beautiful uniform there. There's some uh, flippers here. Another undersea. That's a Navy SEAL thing. And a couple of uh, caps. Yep, some caps. Wow, that was a nice one. Found a really beautiful M1. <laughs> okay, I think that's about all we have time for today. I've got what? One, two, three, four, five. We've got five more to go through. We'll see you on the next treasure hunt. This is uh, the Foot Locker treasure hunt number one. And we'll have Foot Locker treasure hunt number two coming up shortly. So you guys have a good evening. This is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. We got some really cool old stuff. Um, we can build a few figures now. Maybe get them in some uniforms. Uh, original uniforms. Beautiful, man. All right. Have a good evening. Thanks.